So spring's coming and folks are looking at equipment and some of you may be doubting like do you have the money to purchase to go on some of these trips. For $150 we got this canoe so stick around and I'll explain how we did that. Welcome back to Adventures in Reach. If you're new to this channel, we're all about inspiring unique adventures and proving yourself to you so that you don't have to prove yourself to others. If you're interested in those things, then start the journey now by hitting the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. So one of the first questions is, what kind of canoe should you buy based on the material? So there's Royal X, which they don't make anymore, and so that's pretty expensive. It's a good hardy, uh, boat, but it's they're pretty expensive. There's other plastic versions uh, which can be good. Uh, they are heavy and that's the downside. There's aluminum which is great in terms of they're fast and they're pretty plentiful, uh, but they are heavy again. So we've preferred these Kevlar boats because they're light and we're in the boundary waters and you know we're carrying them on portages a lot and so that's why we went with this. So I marked with tape here the issues that this boat had when we got it. So right here, you can see a crack. Okay, so this crack, uh, it's, it's now taped over and um, sealed. This here, it, it was oil can. So the whole bottom was just rippling and it's still doing that some, but really it's, it's much better than it was. And so we had somebody that uh, put some batteries and things in here, weighted it down, and then kind of re-glassed and finished it. It was covered with pine sap from hanging out under a tree. And so that was all kind of blasted off. And so it's nice and smooth. So the other thing I'll explain before I flip this over and show you the other issues is that we bought this canoe for $350. A Surrey River Quetico 17 canoe new is just under $3,000. We had an aluminum canoe that we sold for $300. So we were in $50 now. And then we spent another $100 to pay somebody to do all of these repairs. And so the total was then $150 for this boat. So I'll flip it over and show you the rest of it. So as I mentioned, there's a crack down here. And so this uh, was repaired again with this patch, um, and more patches this whole way up, just kind of reinforcing the bottom. And down on the end here, you can see at this end, this flotation cap, uh, this was ripped. And so, you know, this got again taped. Um, you can check out some of the videos that we've done where we've camped with our six dogs overnight with this and it's wide enough that uh, it's got some stability to it plus we add on these pontoons to give it more stability plenty of space to have all your things in here it's about 43 pounds in weight and uh, we've really had no issues we love the seats they're super comfortable they have enough give and so although this may not be the prettiest in this state it is super functional and it will get you out on the water if you could find any deal like this. So I wouldn't hesitate to buy a canoe that has some issues uh, wow. as long as you can um, find somebody to repair that for you or if you're handy yourself. If you're interested in continuing to get videos like this that might inspire you to get out there and uh, do some unique adventures, then uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And also check out the playlist you see up here for those canoeing with dog videos um, that I mentioned that we did with this canoe.